Uh, hello there. Today I have a, another acquisition which I'd like to uh, show you. Uh, this is uh, from Nomos, as you can uh, see from the packaging. Uh, it is a, uh, a timekeeping device and uh, as you can see it's in a very small box and really quite nicely packaged I'd have to say. I, I didn't realise it would come uh, uh, so elegantly uh, uh, wrapped as it has. Anyway, let's uh, get the thing open and uh, and we'll show you what we've got. I think I've already given the game away in the, in the title on this, uh, but uh, look, let, let's just uh, imagine I haven't. And uh, what have we got inside here? Oh, what is this? Let's get that paper open there. Oh, oh there's a little box there. Uh, let's get the other side open because uh, I'm one of these people that doesn't like to rip open uh, uh, parcels. I like to uh, savour them. Uh, let's sort of come off a bit there. Okay, so there we have it. A very small box. Uh, it looks like it's a little slide box. And uh, I'll eventually get to opening the thing, which I have done now. And what does it say? When there's no sun, I'm silent. Well, I guess that's probably correct. Uh, uh, but somewhat uh, restrictive, because it's also silent even when there is the sun uh, out. And so what we have here is a Nomos uh, portable sundial in stainless steel uh, on a goat leather strap. So uh, the way this little thing works is, uh, is that there are two rings. There's the inner ring, um, which my index finger is just sort of uh, touching at the moment, and that has a, a small hole in it, as you can see there, um, and then an outer ring. Um, and so the inner ring slides uh, sort of between those two outer rings. So what you need to do with it is you align the uh, inner ring to the outer ring according to what month of the year it is. And that then puts the little hole uh, there uh, in the correct orientation to then receive uh, sunlight, which is then directed onto the uh, inner surface of the sundial. Um, on which there are some uh, hour markings and that helps you to uh, read the time. So this is how you're supposed to use it. Um, you suspend it sort of in the vertical position uh, using gravity and, uh, and then uh, with the hole facing uh, the sun uh, you should see a little uh, beam of light on the inside but unfortunately uh, I've received this device uh, on a cloudy day and it doesn't really seem to be working very well at all. Um, now the other issue with it is that the thing is calibrated for the northern hemisphere and for the latitude that Glashute is on, uh, which is completely inappropriate uh, for my location here in the southern hemisphere uh, in Sydney. Um, but uh, look, I'll dangle it there for you for a, a few seconds here, just so you can see how uh, nicely polished the thing is. Uh, because uh, after I shot this piece of footage, uh, the sun actually did come out, and uh, I will be able to show you. You can see there at the moment we've got lots of cloud there in the sky, uh, but uh, in, a, in a few minutes' time, uh, the cloud dissipated, uh, the sun was shining uh, directly, and that's what you get there. See that little uh, bright dot uh, shining there on the, uh, the lower part of the, uh, of the inner ring? And that's indicating that it's about one o'clock. Uh, and that'd be correct if I was at the, a similar latitude to Glashute, but uh, I'm not. I'm considerably uh, uh, lower than that, closer to the equator, and so uh, it's around about one and a half hours off. Uh, but despite uh, this issue, I still think this is a really cute little uh, device, and um, uh, look, you know, it's... Uh, it has an in-house movement of sorts, uh, it's, it's only one moving part, and um, uh, you know, it's just a little bit different uh, to your average ETA uh, movement uh, watch. 
So look, I hope you've uh, enjoyed uh, watching this uh, brief demonstration of the Glashute uh, Nomos uh, sundial, uh, incorrectly calibrated for the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.